Thanks for staying with us here on Beyond from London. It is over to China now. Uh, the country is hosting the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in Qingdao City today. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is already in China. He's going to be holding a bilateral with uh, President Xi Jinping of China. That is likely to happen uh, very soon. Lots of uh, talking points, of course, for the two gentlemen to discuss. Uh, let's break them down a little further. In the, bro in the studio with me right now is uh, Ambassador Arun Kumar Singh. Uh, Ambassador Arun, we, uh, of course, our conversation a while earlier got uh, thwarted by celebrations in London. But we were talking about how uh, this is a multilateral fora that uh, has many uh, things to offer to India. But personal chemistry has mm -hmm. also been, you know, a talk of the day. Uh, we saw Gautam Bambavale describing the relationship between President Xi and President and Prime Minister Modi as very warm. Similar sentiment was, uh, you know, used to describe the, uh, the summit in Sochi between... Uh, Prime Minister Modi and President uh, Vladimir Putin, that I suppose will hold India in good stead as well. Absolutely. I think personal chemistry makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So although it is a multilateral event, as you mentioned, the relation, bilateral relationships between the countries have an impact. Uh, for example, if you take SARC, it's a multilateral event, but the bilateral relationship between India and Pakistan is difficult. So it impacts on SARC. Sure. So here the bilateral relationships between countries, uh, India and China, India and Russia, uh, India and Central Asian countries would be important and also the personal chemistry between leaders because sometimes when you run into issues, some difficult issues, some things that need to be resolved by thinking out of the box, then the personal chemistry between the leaders Indeed. plays an important role. So I think the recent meeting that the Indian Prime Minister had with President Xi in April and then with President Putin uh, in Sochi, ex spending extended length of time with each other in an informal context will certainly help the discussions. And I think uh, it is also important because this is the first time that India is participating as a full member yes. at the SCO. So the kind of contribution that India can make will be facilitated by this background. Right, and uh, even as we speak, uh, the meeting is underway between uh, President uh, Xi and Prime Minister Modi. We've uh, lost the visuals, we'll go back to them uh, shortly, but uh, as uh, Ambassador Singh is pointing out, personal chemistry does of course play an important mm -hmm. point. But when we're looking specifically, Ambassador Singh, at uh, you know this meeting between President and she and Prime Minister Modi. In your opinion, what are going to be the key takeaways? I mean, the, the conversation was for a long time overwrought by Doklam. And then, of course, Wuhan happened and everyone talked about a resetting of ties. But uh, uh, transactionally speaking, what is the, the big talking point there between the two leaders? I would feel that they would probably look at three broad sets of issues. One would certainly be taking a look at what they discussed in Wuhan mm -hmm. and how things had evolved since then sure. in the relationship, the kind of strategic guidance that they said they're going to give to them respective militaries so as to avoid any situation on the border mm -hmm. like happened at Doklam. Now nothing like that has happened since. And some of the other directions that they gave about improving the bilateral relationship, taking uh, various aspects of the discussion forward, so they may want to review that. I think there could be some discussion uh, about uh, uh, the Prime Minister's statement at the Shangri-La Dialogue. Indeed, yes, I was going to bring that up. Yeah. You know, he spoke about the Indo-Pacific, how India sees that, the inclusive approach, spoke in positive terms about China, mm -hmm. saying that it's a multi-layered relationship where despite difficulties, things can move forward if right. we are sensitive to each other's concerns. So, so that aspect, uh, I think, uh, and China... Allow me to come in, Ambassador. We've, we've got the visuals now on our screen of that meeting itself. Uh, let's cut in and try and listen into what's being discussed uh, in Qingdao between the two delegations from India and China. Thank you. 
关系中的重大问题，长时间的、深入的交往，达成了重要的。这一个月以来呢，两国的民众和国际社会均对这次会议。予以了积极的评价。相信随着时间的推移，非政治会晤的现实和历史意义还会啊越来越显现。中方也从印方一到，以武汉会晤为核心的起点，持续增进的和会晤互信，全面开展会晤。推动中印关系更好、更快、更稳的下一步。谢谢，我先说这些，我愿意和我们先生啊交换意见。不是说，你当初嘛，你怎么没打开？我啊，你你不是打开冰箱，就是拿这别的买的东西的。他是打了电视里面的，我们那边好几处地方的话，我们都在开发嘛。另外呢，俺老家的是什么？你是过去啊，有什么什么出来的？我们这边有没带？说说说啊，谁有带？就是很多人都在玩，打打打，我们我们还有好多人在玩。Mas agora está um pouco mais da cara, mas ainda sem ninguém lá. Se ele compra, ele muda o papel, ele não chega a ser aquela suma. Mas eu acho que é que o Haro tem que ter muito sombra. Haro tem que ter estilo. Visto que se trata de uma pessoa que é muito bonita, ela está bem. Mas ele acha que é que mais हाँ तो जितनी तुम तो क्या तेरे बाद में भी एक सब शाम लेता है All right, so proceedings there have begun uh, in Qingdao. Uh, Ambassador Singh, uh, of course, the Chinese president speaking in Mandarin. I'm, I'm unfortunately not proficient in the language to figure out what he said. But uh, we're going to take a quick break. Before that, I'd just like you to comment once for us. Uh, you were talking about the relationship between the two countries post Wuhan and how this might be an opportunity to sort of, uh, uh, you know, recalibrate, if mm -hmm. you will, on uh, whether things have really gone the way we expected them to in the last six weeks. That's right. And uh, since then, uh, one, there's been no major incident on the border. Yes. There have been a whole series of exchanges uh, between the two countries. Uh, our foreign minister, external affairs minister, met the Chinese foreign minister at the margins of BRICS in South Africa. The Chinese deputy foreign minister had visited India uh, for interaction with the foreign secretary. So a whole series of interactions have continued. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about the fact that in their meeting, uh, beyond uh, looking at Wuhan, there will certainly be some discussion on what the Prime Minister said at the Shangri-La dialogue, Indeed. Uh, which has been welcomed by the Chinese. And uh, third, I think there would be some discussion on how they would like to take the Shanghai Cooperation Organization forward. Right. Because China is the host. China is seen in many ways as leading the SCO process. Mm -hmm. The Secretariat is located in China. And now that India has become a full-fledged member, how can China and India work together in the context of the SCO? And how can the two work together to advance that process, which will also impact positively on the bilateral relationship? Fair enough. So I think this could be among the issues they want to discuss. All right. I wanted to talk to you about BRI and terrorism and all of that, but we plumb run out of time on this broadcast.